Weather, your storm alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mark Rowland. Good evening everyone. It is windy already ahead of this line of storms and as this line of storms moves through, we might see wind gusts as high as 70 miles per hour. We've already got them as high as 50. This could jump up to 70 miles per hour and within this line we could see some severe storms that might produce some golf ball size hail. Frequent cloud to ground lightning, brief but heavy rainfall. We might pick up a quick inch of rain in like 30 minutes time, so that could cause some road drainage problems. And we are monitoring the risk of isolated tornadoes within this line. The line of storms can sometimes create these small brief spin ups and there is a tornado warning right now actually out here just to the northwest of the Midland area, so we'll be monitoring that risk. We do have a tornado watch that's now in effect for most of our area. The exception are extreme eastern counties of Stevens and Eastland until 5 a.m. And then our extreme northwestern areas under a severe thunderstorm watch until 3 a.m. So we're all looking at strong storms coming through between midnight and 5 a.m. Your alerts to danger, obviously strong winds. We have those already in place and they could get even worse. Heavy rainfall, so do not drive through any flooded roads. Could be some isolated severe storms in that line that could produce damaging hail. And yes, we'll be monitoring the risk of brief tornadoes. That's a problem with this line of storms coming through. The storms come through overnight. I think we're done with the severe weather part of it by 5 a.m. Still maybe some lingering thunder showers in our eastern areas at 7 a.m. It's down to a cooler 48. We warm up to 72, but then we're back to strong winds. Steady around 35 miles per hour with a gust as high as 60 during the day because of this developing low pressure area passing to our north. And then here is that high wind warning that's in effect for the daytime tomorrow into tomorrow evening for those strong winds across our area. Here's our weather forecast model. We stopped this at midnight, suggesting showers and storms starting to knock on the door of our western counties. Here at 1.30, we see those storms around Sweetwater. Maybe strong winds already starting to arrive into the Abilene area. And then at 5 a.m., you can see those tough storms that have already cleared our area. Still some showers, maybe some thunder and lightning at 7 a.m. And then it's windy and sunny all day for tomorrow. Winds gradually die down tomorrow night. It's cooler on Thursday. And enjoy a quiet day for Thursday afternoon. Temperatures, well, there's a little bit of cool air behind that cold front that's going to be sweeping through. Our readings are still warm and muggy, generally in the upper 60s. It's 68 right now. And yes, winds are from the south-southeast at 37, gusting to 49, and the storms are not here yet. So try to do the best you can with these winds. Secure your loose objects. Thunderstorms move through tonight, lows down to 48, and for tomorrow, Sunny but windy with highs around 72. Those winds gradually die down tomorrow night, and then we are looking at a much calmer day for Thursday. Possibly a light freeze there on Friday and Saturday mornings with highs in the 50s, and then we start a warming trend on St. Patrick's Day Sunday. We'll be here all night to bring you the latest on these severe storms. Yeah, we certainly know you have a long night ahead of you, Mark, and we appreciate it.